Welcome back. In this video, we're going to try to compute the sum of the squares of the cosine of k pi over n with k changing between 1 and n. Here, we want to compute this uh, sum here. Uh, we can uh, uh, use complex analysis and uh, that would help us a lot. Uh, we, ha we can even simplify this problem more. We'll make it easier to compute by changing this square to something uh, uh, we're gonna, we want to get rid of this, the, this two, the, the square. Okay? We remember one key idea is that the cosine of 2x is 2 cosine squared of x minus 1. So this is square. Okay, so here if we can do cosine 2x plus 1 over 2 is cosine squared of x. Okay, so what they did here is that I added 1 to both sides and I divided by 2. And I get cosine squared. Okay, now I see that if I change the cosine here, okay, cosine, I need to make these two here. I need to multiply this one by 2 and divide by 2. In fact, let me write it down. So cosine squared. X in this case is k pi over n. It's going to give me cosine 2k pi over n plus 1 over 2. Okay. So this, um, this change or this relationship, let me change this problem here of the squares to this one. Why I'm doing this? Because it's easier, okay? I can compute this one square, and I'll show you by the end how, but this is easier, okay? So let's change this square here, this one to this one, okay? Doing so, I'm gonna get the sum with k going from one to n of the cosine squared of k pi over n. It's gonna be the sum k going from one to n of, so here I'll make it easier, one half, plus one half cosine 2k pi over n. Okay, so this makes it easy for me. Okay, so this first part is gonna get uh, written like this. Okay, plus one half k going from one to n uh, cosine 2k pi over n. Okay, now it's easy for me. What's this one here? this first part. So this is, I'm summing up one half n times. So this gives me n over two. n over two. Plus this sum here. So this is the one that I'm gonna compute now. The cosine of 2k pi over n. Okay, so here, how I'm gonna do this. Okay. I can do it many different ways. Okay, uh, and now the sum of the cosine of one of k plus two k, I know that. But here I'm gonna use complex analysis, okay? And now Euler's formula, uh, I can change this one here, so I can use the real part. So if I use the real part, let us let me write uh, Euler's formula. E i x is the cosine of x plus i sine of x. If I take the real part of this one, so here I'm gonna write the real part, I will get the cosine. So if I take the real part of e to i x, I will get the cosine. Therefore, I'm gonna switch to this one here. So I still have n over two plus one half plus, uh, plus one half times, okay, going from one to n, uh, e real part. Okay, real part of e i, 2k pi over n, with k going from 1 to n. This is a finite set, a real part of this one is the real part of the sum. So this is one key idea here, okay? So the real part, the sum of the real part is the real part of the sum, here, okay? So now, I'm gonna write this one as the sum k going from 1 to n, e i 2k pi over n. And now what I have, I have a geometric series, okay? So here, this ratio here, e i 2k pi over n. I can write it as, 
So I forgot one half. I need to have one half here. So here I can write this one one more time as n over 2 plus 1 half the real part of this sum. Okay, going from 1 to n of e i uh, 2 pi over n to the power k. Okay, so here I can I can compute this sum here. Okay, so this sum is is what? This geometric series, it's not starting from zero. I need it to start from zero, or I can factor out by this uh, uh, ei pi over n. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something else. So I'm going to change this one here, okay, by adding the value when k is uh, zero is one. So I'm going to add minus one plus one plus one or minus plus 1 is the case when k is 0. So here, k going from 0 to n of e i 2 pi over n to the power k. Okay, so here this sum. Okay, what's this sum here? Oh, I need to make the real part here, real part. So what's this sum here to the power k? So this sum is, okay, so let me write the real part outside. The sum of minus 1 plus k okay, going from from 0 to n of e i 2 pi over n to the power k. So now I have a geometric series, okay? So my sum is going to be minus 1 plus 1 minus e to 2 pi over n to the power n plus 1 over 1 minus e 2 pi over n. Okay, and uh, I, I see that you know this one. You know how we get this one, okay? So this is just the sum of the geometric series, e i to pi over n to the power k, k going from zero to, uh, uh, to n. Okay, now what's this one here? Okay, so that one is uh, e i two pi times n plus one over n and if I write it down so if I divide by n I'm gonna get e i 2 pi uh, plus uh, 2 pi over n and what's this one this is just one if I write it like this e the product of the uh, the exponent 2 pi over n this is one because this is cosine 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi this is one and therefore um, all I'm left with is the same ratio here. So here I have 1 minus e i 2 pi over n and on the top this one here to the power n plus 1 to the power n plus 1 is just this one here and therefore this is 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So here all this term here all this part here okay if I go back here all this part here is just 0 and therefore I'm left with only n over 2. Okay, please note this one here. I did explain this one here, okay? If you see that, that's n plus 1 times e times 2 pi over n. Okay, 2 pi times n over n, that's i 2 pi. Plus 2 pi times 1 over n, this is this one. And when I do the, uh, the, uh, the rules of algebra, so this is just the product of this one with this one. But this one, according to uh, Euler's formula, this is just one. So I'm left with e i to pi over n. Okay, so this whole e i to pi over n to the power n plus one is just this part. And therefore I have one over one, which is one minus one, is zero and I'm left with only uh, this part n over two. Therefore, this sum, this is n over two. Okay. So this is using complex. Okay. There is another way to do this, but uh, which is based on doing uh, more algebra. So here I can write the cosine x as e i x plus e minus i x over 2. I can square and plug it here. 
but this is more algebra if you want to do it do it okay this is easier thank you very much